Let's see how we can use the PNC injection pattern for a Selenium project using C Sharp and AutoFact package. We start from this Selenium test class, which has two methods, and this class extends a test base class. Here we have this setup method, which depends on few objects like Chrome driver, browser, and web form page. And more than that, we are also creating those objects in the same method, or in other words, we are not separating the concerns of constructing objects and using them. In software engineering, dependency injection is a design pattern in which an object or function receives other objects or functions that it requires, as opposed to creating them internally. In .NET, one option to achieve this is by using AutoFact package which is an inversion of control container for Microsoft.NET and manages the dependencies between classes. First step is to install the package and let's do this. We go to NuGet Gallery, here we search for AutoFact, click on first result and copy the installation command, and go to VS Code and paste it in your terminal and hit enter. Now we are ready to create a container config class. Here we add the configure method where we create and wire the dependencies. First define a builder and create a new container builder object. Then register a component to be created. We start with Chrome driver as iWeb driver. And we want to create a single object for the driver, which will be shared, for example, between page objects. The same we have to register the browser as I browser. so let's do this. And finally, we have one more class, which is the page object named web form page. So let's do this too. So what we did here, we have registered the Chrome driver as iWeb driver, the browser as iBrowser, and the web form page. As we can see, the web form page constructor has a driver parameter and AutoFact will resolve this automatically if it's a register type, which in our case is true, and also the driver is set as a single instance, so the same driver is shared between page objects. Now it's time to use the container config. We go here and call the container dot resolve iWeb driver. And we do the same with browser and web form page object. And that's all, now we can give it a run, so in terminal I will run .NET test. As we can see the tests are running. If we check the report we get the expected results, first test is the negative scenario, which is expected to be failed, and the second one has passed. As a recap, we have this container config class where we create and wire the dependencies and we have to use them in the test base. And the tests remain as they were, no changes are required there. 
So this is one possible way of implementing dependency injection by using autofag and separate the concerns of constructing the objects and using the driver, util objects and page objects. Thank you for your time and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye.